What's up guys, we're here, welcome back to the channel. So to continue our beginner's guide into Path of Exile 2, today we're gonna to be talking about how to trade in Path of Exile and what trading may be like in Path of Exile 2. So I'm gonna lay an absolute breakdown of everything and how we currently trade and what is gonna to continue to be in Path of Exile 2. Now, keep in mind guys that some of this in some of the menus may change and some of it may be a little bit different, especially for console players since now everything is gonna be cross play. So just keep that in mind, you know, for the comments, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get into trading. Now, trading in Path of Exile is probably one of the best things in any ARPG because absolutely everything is tradable. I'm talking about potions, currency, gear, right? Like absolutely everything in the game is tradable. Nothing is account bound. So whether you're playing with your friends or you're playing solo and you find a really good item or some really good currency and you want to trade it away or give it away, feel free everything is absolutely tradable so that's the first thing and i think that is just so good for not only the economy of the game but especially for brand new players or newer players to the genre or the game itself so the next thing is is well how do we trade now this is going to be a two-part topic because ggg recently in this last league in poe uh brought in a currency exchange but i'm gonna first go over how we currently trade before the currency exchange because i pretty much know that a lot of players are going to be using the currency exchange over anything else in the game at least for now until they get to the later levels of the game so let me go ahead and cut over to uh trade or path of exile trade okay so this is how we traditionally trade inside of the game now you could still be in the same party click on your uh, teammates name ask them to trade and then you're good to go right but if you want to post items and then trade these items and buy an exchange then you have to use path of exile trade i know it's um it's their website it does make things a little bit uh you know kind of clunky when it comes to trading because there is no like um what is it uh auction house uh, an auction house would actually be kind of nice in PoE too, but this is what we have for now. So let me go and break this down and show you guys how this works. So essentially what you're going to do is on a path of trade, this is where you can search for any item, any modifiers, anything you want in the game. I'm going to keep it really basic here. So I'm just going to search for um, an, an item category under type filters. I'm going to search for one hand weapons. I'm going to search for a rare item rarity, and I'm just going to hit search. So these are going to be items that people, live people, have posted to this website that you can buy from. So let's just look at this first one. So you have a brambling or bramble scratch calling wand. Okay. It shows you the different sockets. That's irrelevant. Don't worry about that. But it, on the right-hand side here, it's going to show you the exact price that they want for this item, which is going to be one orb of alchemy. It shows the player's name as well as how long ago it was listed. So this was listed nine days ago. So you can see that it currently says online. So one thing of emphasis here with the Path of Exile trade site, which is their website, is that when you post an item on here to be sold. So for example, if I come back into mine, I have a sell tab here and all of these items are on that site for sale. You can see like this one costs a div, this one I'm selling for 50 chaos. You know, these items will only appear on that website, only appear on this website if I'm online, okay? They will not appear there if I'm offline, okay? So if we scroll down, you can see just everybody is online, right? Everybody's online. So just keep that in mind. That's why I think having like a, you know, an auction house in PoE2 would be really awesome because in last epoch, that's what they have essentially. Uh, you can put an item up and you can log off for a day, come back on. If it's sold, it's gone. Boom. You got all your uh, rewards. So you have to be online. The next thing is here, you have this direct whisper. Okay, so you can direct whisper the person and it sends them a message. So when I go back into the game, it'll say, Hi, I would like to buy your Bramble Scratch Calling Wand listed for one alchemy. So he's going to offer me a trade. So I'm going to go ahead. He sent me a party invite. I'm going to go to the currency tab. And then I'm going to go ahead and join him. We're going to click on his name to join him. And then he's going to send me a trade request. 
Okay, he's gonna put the item in, make sure you highlight it. I'm gonna put the orb in and then we accept, boom. So you can always click and hit trade on this person's name when you're inside of a party or when you're talking to new people. So he ended the party, but now I have this item, this bramble, this calling wand. So now I have it and I can go back to my hideout. So that's how trading works when you put something or like when you're looking on the trade site for anything. Now we can do another video for like an in-depth guide of how to use all of these filters, but I just want to kind of show you the basis of how trading actually works. Okay. So again, like you could search for anything that you want and it shows you the price, the person's online, you can direct whisper them, and then you can go through the trade process like you just saw. Now for console players, this is where things get a little bit tricky because on console, you know, you don't have access. You, you're not able to tab in and out like I can when I'm playing the game to do quick trades and stuff, right? So for console, you may have to use your phone. You may have to have another computer next to you. And that in lies the problem. And I hope that GGG will do something to kind of lessen that blow for console players in order to trade. Now, I would think though that posting, you know, items to be tradable is still gonna be very easy for console players. So we're gonna go in here and show you guys quickly how to post something on that trade site in order to trade. So as I talked about in my stash tabs video, make sure to go check that out guys, is you need a premium stash tab. A premium stash tab is how you're gonna be able to list items on the trade, the path of trade exile website. So once you have this premium stash tab, you can take any item, for example, you can put it in the stash tab. I just labeled it sell so that way I know I'm selling. And all you're gonna do is just right click on the item you're going to come down here. Let me move this up real quick. You're going to right click on the item and you're going to put either a note. You can negotiate the price. You can do the exact price or do not index. I always do the exact price. It just makes things easy. So I'm going to do the exact price and then it pops up on the next window. What kind of resource or currency that you want in exchange for this item? So I'm just going to get the same thing that he did it for. So there was an orb of alchemy. So one orb of alchemy, and then in this middle box, you're going to put how many you want, you know, like, oh, I want a hundred orb of alchemy, whatever. So I'm just going to post one orb of alchemy and I'm going to hit this check mark. So then when I highlight over the item, you will see that right at the below, it says exact price one times orb of alchemy. And now this item is listed on that trade site. Okay. It's already listed. That's it. You are done. All you have to do is wait for a message just like he that he got when somebody's trying to trade you a message will pop up in your message bar right here and they'll ask you hey i would like to buy your bramble scratch for listed for one uh, orb so then what you would do is you would right click on their name and hit invite to party then they would join your party and you would do the trade process like you saw me do just a little bit ago in this video so that's how you would post. It's going to be the same thing for console. So I think posting for console is going to be very, very easy. All right. But as far as like searching out items and then clicking to trade, you know, you may have to use your phone or laptop or whatever it is. But with that said, or if you're playing console like on monitors and you have multiple, then then you're all set. Uh, OK, so now that that's done, that's how the trade uh, site works for Path of Exile. And, you know, it's. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool how this works. It's very easy once you get used to it, but it can be a pain because you are using a third party um, software. Now, let's get to the thing that they added um, that's new and I think it's really great and it's gonna help out a lot of players. That's gonna be the currency exchange. Now, keep in mind before we dive into this that the currency exchange will only, only exchange currency. You cannot sell or buy gear with the currency exchange, so you are required to basically use the path of trade website so just keep that in mind but the currency exchange is really really awesome especially when you're looking for certain currency you need for whether it's you know crafting gear or upgrading or making something rare whatever it is okay um the currency exchange is going to work just like an auction house to some degree so faustus here the financer he's the guy that you're going to be looking for now, I, don't, I do not know when in the campaign that you're gonna unlock him in Path of Exile 2, but you will be able to get him, or if they're gonna change how you get the currency exchange, it may be slightly different, but you will be able to unlock it. I just don't know when. 
But when you are able to get the currency exchange, or if it, they do put Faustus back in the game, here under Faustus, you have the currency exchange. Now you also have the black market, which we can talk about. The black market is just a random uh, assortment. So you basically just pick something like a bow here and it's gonna cost 2,800 gold. And then it's a random item that you get. Everything's random from the rarity, the modifiers, absolutely everything. This is actually kind of a decent bow. Um, it's pretty decent. So yeah, so that's how the black market works and you have different stuff that you can buy from. So that's super easy and it all costs gold. Next is the currency exchange. And this is a very important tool. And I think it's very, very great for like selling high end currency or trying to get certain things to go fight bosses, whatever it is that you need. So it's very simple. You will need gold, which should be e pretty easy to get in Path of Exile too. So with the currency exchange, you're gonna po post stuff that you want and what you want to trade. So under the I want, as an example, let's say I want one chaos orb. So we're gonna, uh, we select chaos orb. We're gonna come in here and put one. And then I'm gonna just go, I have, I don't know, let's, let's trade. Let's trade like orbs of regerts, right? So you can see that the ratio is five orbs of regerts to one chaos orb. Okay. So, or let, let's put in, what is it? Five. So now I can place this order and I can just put this on here and you can see now this is what I'm buying. I want to buy a chaos orb and I'm giving five orbs of regerts away. That's a trade. Now the order is complete. All I have to do is just wait. Okay. That's all I got to do. Cause in here, like this is what I posted. So if somebody wants to buy this and get my five orbs of regerts, they can give me one chaos orb and then this trade will be done. So order complete. So as an example, let's go in, let's go check. Right. 204. Okay. So it didn't, it didn't sell just yet. Exile. Oh, wrong person. Hello, hello. So you can see that this is still here which is really cool. This is just how, how this works. Another good way is to come in here. Like, uh, let's see, I have a divine orb. I want chaos orbs. <laughs> it's like crazy. It costs gold to place the order. And then you have the ratio here. You can click the market ratio so you can see how many to one or the other that it actually is, which is pretty cool. So like, um, let's, uh, let's, let's go, let's see, let's swap this up. Let's say I want chromatic orbs and I have chaos orbs. So again, you can see the market is about seven to one. There's a stock in here, which is what people have posted. So my order is complete on this. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's do, um, we can do 10 chaos orbs for 71 of these, or let's do it's seven to one. So let's do seven to one. So it cost me 175 gold. Uh, I was at 203 chaos orbs. So let's place the order. So I've placed the order. We can go back into the stash tab. I'm at 203, so it has not been bought yet. So again, if somebody wants to give me seven chromatic orbs for one chaos, then you're all set. But what's great about this is you could just post these and then you're done. You could just, you posted the order and you're just waiting for somebody to complete it. You know, you're just waiting for somebody to put in for it. So again, if I come in here, like I'm still at 203 chaos, and I'm trying to get, you know, 136 chromatic orbs. You know, nobody has bought it yet. Now, we're very late in this league, so there's probably not a lot of people actually using this. But it is great. You can come in here, and there is a FAQ if you guys are ever interested in looking at this. So you can see, right? You can see, you know, how you want to go through, and you can use the, the, the shortened, like, quick things, like control left click on your uh, item on the inventory to see I have whatever it is. But this market is very great. You just click on these things. You can go through everything popular. This is what's popular. That's what's being traded throughout everybody that's actually using it, you know, for scarabs and divine orbs, exalted orbs, etc. But you can go through each of the different currencies and you could trade them specifically. If you want, you can trade these things, ask for them, tattoos, expedition, life forces. And it makes like getting the currency that you need very, very easy. Okay, this is going to be a very strong tool, especially early in, you know, early access and leagues in Path of Exile 2. So I strongly consider you to come around and start messing with this and get used to using this tool to trade stuff. But yeah, guys, that is going to do it for how you trade in Path of Exile 2 slash 1. Uh, again, just for purposes and clarity, 
some of this stuff, like who you get the currency exchange from and some of the menus may look slightly different in Path of Exile 2 as opposed to 1, but fundamentally the system should work exactly the same. So guys, like the video, okay? Comment down below. Let me know if you guys have any questions about trading in Path of Exile, especially when it comes to console. Um, I'll be happy to answer any of those. So like and comment, that really helps out with the algorithm for me and the channel. Um, and don't forget to subscribe, guys, as always. Stay gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.